All right, so this is actually not uh, that difficult of a video. I won't even need a script for this one. Do soundproofing curtains soundproof a window? Well, that's an easy one, it does not. But I will give you some suggestions on what you could use instead of using a sound deadening curtain, because that's what it's called, not a soundproofing curtain. I know myself, I've called it soundproofing curtains in the in the past, but people do call it that because that's what some people search for online, soundproofing curtains. What they really are trying to sell you are sound deadening curtains, which if you do put sound deadening curtains on your window, what some people are calling soundproofing curtains, it might make a little bit of a difference. However, there is a specific way that you need to install these types of curtains that are quite different than just installing them the same way that you would install your two panel curtains in front of your window. Now these types of sound deadening curtains, what they will do, they won't soundproof your window, they won't block that much sound or almost none at all. But what it will do, it will deaden the sound inside the room and also deaden some sound coming from outside into the room. So it might appear that something is sounding not as loud. Let's say a barking dog. You close your curtains, you might not hear it as much. It's because you've added mass in front of your window. You just not, you just didn't add enough mass to really make a difference. But what's making the actual difference in the way that you're hearing the noise is that the curtain is deadening the noise coming into the room. But really, it's not going to be enough to actually satisfy you. If you're thinking, okay, how do I soundproof my window? A sound deadening curtain or a soundproofing curtain is just one thing to add to soundproof your window. It's just what you would call a finishing touch. And the difference between sound deadening curtains and regular curtains is that the ones that actually works to an extent to deaden the sound are usually the curtains that are three layers. The three layer curtains is the ones with the black felt in the middle. They're usually black because the, the use of this felt is really to block the sunlight. So you'll see if you look online for sound deadening curtains, you'll see that they are also referred to as blackout curtains. And that is what that felt will do. It'll block out the sunlight and it will help block out a little bit of noise. But as I said, it won't block out enough noise to make you happy, especially if you just install them just like regular curtains. There is a way to install them that you might see a little bit of benefit, a little bit more sound blocking than you would see if you just hang the curtains just like regular curtains. These types of curtains, the best, what I would suggest is to not buy two panels, to just buy one panel, one large panel, because at least there you don't have the separation in the middle. Because I mean, anywhere that you have a crack, light and noise is going to come in. Just by having that in the middle, you're kind of defeating the purpose. So at least if you have a single curtain, you can get rid of that middle slice. Now to get rid of all of the other gaps where all of the noise is still going to come into the room, you'll need some industrial strength Velcro. So all you'll need to do here is sew one half of your Velcro all around the curtain and then, and then stick the other side of the Velcro around your window frame. Well, and then you can just imagine what you're going to do. So at least by doing that, at least by sticking the curtain directly onto the window frame, then you're creating a seal around. That will help a little bit compared to just hanging it like a regular curtain. Now there are better ways, of course. Like I said, sound deadening curtains, they will help for the echo in the room. It'll help just make the, the noise inside the room sound better. But as I said, if you're looking to soundproof the window, it's not really the way to go. So the results that you're looking for won't be there. There are better ways to soundproof the window if you don't really want to replace the window and go into big constructions. If you just want to buy something to stick in front of the window, there are better ways, there are better things to use than curtains. Things that I've actually tested, and one of those is called an Indo window window insert. All you need to do is you go on their website, you fill out the information about your window, the dimensions, and they send you the window panel right to the mail. It takes a few weeks or maybe a month or so. 
and you stick it into the window when you don't want it. And some people will ask, do, does it have to stay in the window or do you have to take it out to open the window? Well, you'll have to take it out to open the window. So that's the only thing. It's, uh, but it's really simple to, to install and remove. There's a video right there where I do a complete sound test on this window panel. There is one thing though with this type of window panel. If you, if you know what type of window that you already have, this will help because if you have a double or triple pane window, which is really good at blocking sound, a window panel like this will not make much of a difference. If however, you have a single pane window, a window panel actually does make quite a difference in blocking the noise coming in. In the video, I explain everything you need to know about that type of window panel and why one window pane versus three window panes makes that much of a difference. So make sure to go check out that video after this one, of course. There are other things that you can also buy that works a lot better than sound deadening curtains, which are a different type of window panel. It, now this type of window panel, which would be similar to the door panel that I tested a year ago, you can watch the video right there. Now that door panel actually surprised me because I didn't think that a panel would do such a good job at blocking noise. They were always good at deadening the noise, but not really at blocking. But once you order one and you actually, you actually hold it, you'll realize that this thing is quite heavy. It's packed with different types of insulation, fiberglass, and you'll have to watch that video because right now I can't really remember. But there are many window versions of this type of door panels. They are also quite expensive, but if you're renting, it's not really an option to go and start tearing stuff down. You have to basically try to buy stuff that you can remove when you leave and hopefully it's not customized to the point that you can't bring it with you to your next location. And another thing that works better than sound deadening curtains is acoustic sealant because as the home shifts, you'll have cracks show up all around the window, around the window frame, and these cracks, most people wouldn't realize that they actually let noise in. Even though that you might not see the light or the cracks might seem superficial, they are not and they do let noise in. Now this type of sealant, they're like your regular caulking, however, but it doesn't dry and crack over time. It stays rubbery. It's something similar than the type of caulking that you would have around bathtubs, around sinks. It stays rubbery over time, so as the home shifts, you'll have cracks and you'll have gaps. And this type of acoustic sealant will prevent that. One thing though, a tube of acoustic sealant is a heck of a lot cheaper than sound deadening curtains. But really, the best way to soundproof a window is to switch the window out with a thicker glass window. But if you need to change just one or two windows in your home to keep your sanity, I mean, calling a contractor and changing a couple of windows is a lot cheaper than putting your house up for sale because I've heard a lot of people selling their house at a loss because they couldn't handle the noise their neighbors were making. Well, if you would have just taken the loss they had by selling the, the home, you could have probably soundproofed the entire house. All right, so there you have it. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it and until next time.